Hi, it's Alexander from Tilda. We've created several demo pages where we applied step-by-step -step animation in zero block. Today, I want to show you one of these pages and break down how it's made so you can apply the same animation in your projects. On this page, elements move when you scroll. Multiple elements are in motion while you're scrolling down. Clouds are floating, a plane is flying, and a train is moving. Let's figure out how they're all made. Look at the template ID at the bottom, which is the page number that will help you use this page as a template. That's how I'm going to add this page to my project. I'll create a new page, scroll down, and insert the template ID. And this page is now in my project. All the settings on this page have been applied. Let's take a look at them. Here is zero block. Let's go into the block editor to see what's inside. Here we can see are all the elements on the page. We can see that the elements are in different places. Not all of them are located inside the artboard. Let's break down the animation of a few elements here. I suggest we look at those two clouds and the train. Here's what we see on the page. Firstly, the elements are moving in different directions. And secondly, they're moving at different speeds. These two clouds are moving in the same direction, but at different speeds. Let's take a look at how they're made. To see these step-by-step -step animation settings, you have to get into the element settings. Find step-by-step -step animation at the bottom, highlight the object, and see which settings are applied. There are three basic steps you need to go through to set up the step-by-step -step animation. These are event, steps, and properties. Event is the event on which the animation will take place. There are different options here. This animation happens on scroll, which means that the elements start to move when the visitor scrolls the page. Once you've selected event, the steps tab will appear. After adding a step or a new phase of the animation, we have to set up properties, which is where you can change the element properties for each animation step. In step one, we can see that the cloud is gone. In properties, we can see that the cloud shifted 1140 pixels to the right and moved here. The distance value has also changed. It's 1000 pixels here, which means that while we scroll 1000 pixels down the page, the cloud travels a distance of 1140 pixels. Nothing else has changed here. Let's highlight the second cloud and check the difference between how they're positioned relative to each other. We can see that the distance of the second cloud is the same. However, for the same amount of time, or more precisely, for the same number of pixels scrolled, the cloud traveled only 270 pixels. That's why the small cloud moves much slower than the large one. All the other clouds are set up in the same way. They have the same distance value, but a different move value on the axis. Now look at the train. It is moving in the opposite direction of the clouds and moving much faster. Let's see how it's set up. The on scroll value is the same in the event settings. It also has a second step. The distance value is different here, 590 pixels. This means it will travel a distance of 1,430 pixels in fewer pixels scrolled, which means it will go faster. It will also be traveling in the other direction, which is why the offset value is set with a minus sign. The other elements are set up in the same way. For example, the bird settings are the same. They've just been moved on a different axis, the Y axis. That's all you have to do to set up the step-by-step -step animation like this. Let's take a look at our results and publish the page. Everything seems to be working just fine. Thanks for your attention. Watch the rest of the videos about step-by-step -step animation on Tilda. Take care.